I think it's important to recognize that I don't know a ton about uh, components. Like I, I tend to use breakouts because it's easier. In a lot of cases, I'll use breakout boards. So I recently went through my little collection of components because I, I think that's a problem that I don't know these things. So I thought I would show you something I found recently. Um, this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a zoom in so you can see what it is. But this is this is an L seven eight zero five voltage regulator. And now you know I'm left-handed. So L7805 CV, CV voltage regulator. And what this does is it takes higher voltage and drops it down to a lower voltage. And in this case, this is a five volt. So it, it, it'll output a five volt um, um, output, do a five volt output. But the cool thing about it is that um, versus using, you know, a, a small, using your USB off of your computer, which only produces like, you know, a small amount of amperage, this will spit out 1.5 amps. So 1.5 amps. Now that's pretty handy because in a lot of cases you're doing stuff that requires more than, you know, a couple of milliamps. So the easiest way to do this, or the way to do this, is that this is your voltage in. This is your ground. And that would be, that's a shared ground, right? And this is your voltage out. So you drop in, I think this, this particular regulator can take up to 15 volts. So you can drop in 12 volts and it'll spit out five volts five volts at 1.5 amps. Now that's great if you want to, you know, have your, if you want to, you know, operate a, a 12 volt uh, stepper motor, you can pull the voltage from the supply and spit out five volts for your microcontroller, which means you don't have to have two power supplies. And it means you also don't need to have a whole other breakout you know, my, my problem is a lot of cases I'll use a buck converter. I'll say, okay, well, I want to have five volts. So I'll get this five volt buck converter, which means it can take up to so, so many volts. And I've done it a number of times. And it's kind of surprising to me that I've never thought, oh, I wonder what this component is. It's great. So I'll wire this up and I'll show you what I mean. Here I have the voltage regulator and a pair of capacitors. Capacitors are directional, so the positive on the outside, negative on the inside to the ground terminal, positive on the outside, negative on the inside to the ground terminal. I just want to show you, I have this 12 volt, seven amp power supply wall wart. You drop it onto the ground in the middle, check the incoming. Oh, check the incoming. 12 and a half volts, okay? Let's do the swap around here to the ground and to the emitter, not emitter, but oh, again, you can't see because I'm not sitting right. Mm. Let's see, what's the best way to do this? There we go. And then five volts, 12 in, five out, perfect. Let's do this in a practical way now. This is the same circuit I built for the Polaloo TB6612 FNG for running a stepper motor. Uh, you may remember it. If you don't, uh, there's probably a link in the description. <laughs> there will be a link in the description. Um, I just wanted to show you how using this voltage regulator, I could power the entire project off of the one power supply um, because this stepper driver requires this motor driver requires both a 12 volt supply and a 5 volt supply and in the case of the old video i had provided the 5 volts off of the um 
off of the Arduino. But in this case, I can provide the five volts off of the voltage regulator and power the entire project from one power supply. So there's my stepper. Whoops, hold on. There's my stepper. You know, it's a whatever, 200 step motor. And there's my Arduino Uno voltage regulator. Got a little wall wart situation going on here. And then let's power it up. There we go. So that command is coming out of the Arduino, obviously. The power supply, the 12 volts is coming in through the voltage regulator, is then being spit out for the five volts. So the V in and ground are coming from this power supply. And then the 12 volts for the supply from the supply is going into the driver board to power the stepper motor and that's it one single power supply to run the entire project very handy